guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is clearly going to be a diamond painting video. You guys saw the title. Um, I didn't know this was going to be a diamond painting video until I butchered this box. So <laughs> as you guys can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be a Diamond Dots unboxing. I didn't know this was the Diamond Dots package that I was getting until I butchered this box, but let me tell you about the packing job. This box is large and in charge and the amount of tape there was much tape. I don't know if y'all can see how thick the layers of tape were around the end. It took, it was a feat to get into this package and there was no like return address label on it. So I had no idea what got dropped off at my house, but this is still wrapped inside. So I am going to kind of zoom in. I'm going to talk to you guys. This is going to be a fun video. Get a snack is probably going to be a long one because we know that I talk a lot at this point. Okay, hello. We've got we've got the large box. There was a lid. There's a lot of bubble wrap. There's more bubble wrap. Like it's it's well packaged, let me tell you. So Diamond Dots reached out to me and I about peed my pants. I am still fairly new to the diamond painting world and even I know that Diamond Dots is the like number one diamond painting company like in the world. They are the first diamond painting company that really made it into stores, like into chain stores. These are in Joann's, they're in Michael's, they're in all of the like crafty stores. And I was like, oh my God. But this is a really good starting point for a lot of you guys. So I talked about Diamond Art Club in my previous videos and I feel like Diamond Art Club has a lot of very advanced kits. Um, I think this should probably be the company that I'm going to direct you guys to for beginner stuff because they have a lot of beginner friendly things and a lot of like introductory type of items. So I want to just kind of start unboxing this and I'm going to talk as I go because I'm pretty sure I've got, as far as I can tell, these are three diamond paintings. And then I've also got this box, which I have an idea of what's in here. Um, and I'm just so oh, excited to open this and introduce it to you guys. So I think, I think that's the end of this huge box. You can shove that to the side and let's get to unboxing stuff. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm gonna start taking the bubble wrap off of these while I'm talking to you guys. Um, the couple things that really sold me on wanting to work with this company um, is the fact that I am very leery of working with diamond painting companies and introducing them to you guys on this channel if I don't think that it's going to be a reputable company. And let me tell you, <laughs> this is the number one company in the world. They're in chain stores, like I said. Um, so I, I have full faith that this is likely going to be the biggest company that I'll probably ever work with. And it's also something that I have 100% confidence recommending to you guys because they actually have full contracts and licensing rights with Disney. Um, so that also includes Marvel, Star Wars, um, I think a couple sports things, hold on. Yeah, so they have licensing rights to use Disney, Marvel, Harry Potter, DC Comics, Star Wars, and NRL, which I think is the rugby league. Um, so these, this is going to be pretty much the only company that you're actually gonna find legitimate licensed Disney images um, to work with. So that was something that made me feel a lot more confident saying yes to working with them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. These are all individually wrapped. This is so cute. Um, so that was the big selling point. And also because I've looked at these in the stores and this is something that you can do um, with your kids. Like they have little hobby things um, that are available to do. It's not all just like canvas artwork. There's actual like finished product craft type things that they have, which I think is going to appeal to a lot more. Oh, I matched this. Look at me accessorizing. Um, I think that's going to appeal to a broader range of you guys in case you guys were like me where when you first started, you were like, what do I do with it when it's done? There's stuff in here that is going to be amazing to you guys. So, okay, we've got a pile at my feet. I think, I think I want to open the actual diamond paintings first and give you guys a glimpse of what they have to offer. I have no clue what these are. Um, these are going to be a surprise to me, which is very exciting. Uh, and I love that they're all individually wrapped and I totally match them. I planned that for sure. Yeah, totally did. Okay, what do we think this one's going to be? I kind of gave her an idea of like things that I like, which is, you know, nerdy stuff and animals and nature and, you know, all of the above. So, oh, I, I know what this one is. Okay, this is the big one. How am I? Yes. Can I unwrap it this way? Yeah. Ooh, look at her. Okay, she's got wings. It wraps all the way around the box. 
This is amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is totally did I, I might have requested this one. She had me go through, uh, the rep that I was working with had me go through and just look at everything they had to offer and pick out like what was like my aesthetic and my style that I really liked. This might have been one that I totally asked for. So this is an intermediate one. I probably should have started with one of the smaller kits first, but hindsight, whatever, it's okay. So first thing that I like about Diamond Dots, I actually went to the stores and looked at all of their products before I agreed to do this video because I really wanted to make sure that it was something that I wanted to actually share with you guys, and it totally is. One thing that I think you guys, if you're new to diamond painting, will appreciate is that they show the artwork on the box, what it will look like when it's actually completed with all of the diamonds attached to it. It's not showing you kind of like the image that they rendered it from. Can you guys tell that this actually looks like it has a whole bunch of diamonds like on it. So this is actually what your finished product is going to look like, not like kind of the image that it was based off of, which is something that I think is really appealing to new people. So you have a very realistic approach to what your finished product is going to look like. So look at it. She's so pretty. So let's see. This one is an intermediate and I believe a majority of the diamond dots um, kits are partials, which means the entire canvas isn't covered in drills. It's just going to be the focal points, which is also going to be super appealing to uh, beginners because it's less intimidating. Um, and this one is, oh my God, it is 52 by 71 centimeters. This is still a sizable lady. Okay, I wanna open this up and show you guys uh, what comes in a kit. And this is also going to be a new experience for me. I've never done a Diamond Dots kit before. So we're experiencing this together. Who's excited? Also, have you guys caught on to the fact that this is going to be a long video? Okay, so here is the canvas. Let's see what comes in the box. Ooh, oh, okay, so everything is included all in here. So this is all of your drills. Look at all the A, Bs. Oh my goodness. Um, and we have our little toolkit in here as well. Does it say how many? Ooh, it says on the other side of the box, there's 22 colors. Um, Includes additional feature diamonds, but it doesn't say how many. Oh, okay, okay. I'll zoom in for you guys for a whole bunch of details. Okay, while I still have the box handy, this shows you what the actual diamond area is. So out of the image, this is where all of the drills are going to be placed. So it looks like the outer edge and like her dress and her wings and her hair. Interesting. And then it shows you number of colors, that there's fancy ones. And then if you flip to the other side, this is gonna give you the dimensions and what the actual image looks like uh, kind of completed. And then this is what you're gonna be sticking the drills for. Okie dokie, here we are. Here's the box. This is the uh, pack of everything that you need to complete it, but I want to get to this part first. I want to see what the canvas looks like because I am so intrigued by these partial kits. Ooh, it feels nice. Okay. So, oh, this is way bigger than I thought. I do not have enough room to show you guys, but look at her. She's so pretty. This is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Holy guacamole, guys. Ooh, it totally has special drills. I just saw them on her wings. Okay, so let me zoom in. Look at her face. She's so sassy. I love the lantern. There's little butterflies flitting around in the background. There's like extra fancy drills. This is so fun. I love her. Okay. okay can we see pretty much all of her? I apologize. I didn't think it was going to be this honking big. But look at her in all her winged glory. Okay, let's roll her back up. Okay, now we have the kit. So like the box said, this has 22 colors. So this is going to be all of our colors. Ooh, ooh, there's an AB. I think I saw another one in here. Oh my God, I found the fancy one. So these are like fancy drills. I've never actually worked with big ones. And then we have three AB colors here. We have another one here. Uh, do we have any more or is that it? Because that's already more than I am used to. Look at all of these. Obviously, this is all going to be like reds and gray tones because that's what her dress and her wings are. So those are all of the diamonds. And then we have a little toolkit. I want to see what their toolkit looks like compared to other ones that I've done. So it looks fairly standard. But what's exciting to me is the fact that their little wax thing is its own little tiny container. Look how cute this is. Oh my God, that's adorable. And it looks like just a standard. Oh, you have two pads in here. Standard pink wax 
and you have a little like dipping pod thing. We have the standard pen and a squishy. I like the purple squishy, that's fun. Um, we have a gray tray and then we have a couple extra baggies and I just save these because I, you never have enough baggies for like leftover drills and whatnot. So that is what is in the basic toolkit. And that's pretty much all you really need. So this is a self-inclusive kit. You can do everything with this kit. Everything's there that you might need. Okay, let's move on to another one. Okay, I lied, I'm back. So this little strip, I was looking at this off camera. So this is the one that had the like specialty drills. These are not just regular AB drills. In case you guys are new, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It has like that, this iridescent coating on it that makes them shimmer. These aren't regular drills. These are like little pearl drills. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there are no facets on these pink drills or these purple ones. Um, I think these do have facets though. Can you tell that these have like kind of the cuts that normal little diamonds do? These are just round. That's new and exciting to me as well. Okay, let's move on to these two. Let's do this little one first. Let's take guesses on what it is. It's going to be, oh, it's so my style. I just saw it peeking out of the bottom there. So I may have mentioned that I'm a cat lady. <laughs> I love it. Okay, this is so cute. So this one is also an intermediate. Um, let's see, this one says that it is 37 by 45 centimeters um, and it is 13 colors. So this is going to be a very simple one. If you guys can tell, it wraps around the front of the box and that's what your finished product's gonna look like. So this is gonna be another partial where all of the drills are going to be the little cat face, but your actual canvas is going to include this like leaf pattern. Let's take it out and take a look-see. Oh my God, this is so cute. I pointed out a couple of the cat ones and I mentioned that I'm a vet tech and I have many cats and I'm a cat lady. So she chose so well for this. So this is what comes in this kit. It's gonna be very similar to the one that I just opened, but it's so little. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, so this is going to be kind of the same thing. I already see one AB color in here. That's so exciting, but it's only 13 colors and you already get an AB. That's so fun. This one is called Kitten Peak. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll get to those in a second. I wanna look at this, cause this is gonna be so cute. Oh, that's the bottom. Okay, are you ready? Look at it. It's not even focusing. Come on, camera. Look how cute it is. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen in your entire life? So obviously this is where all of your diamonds are gonna be. And then this is just kind of left pretty so that you can actually frame the entire piece. Oh, this is so cute. This is so stinking cute. And if I didn't mention it in the last one, I don't know if I just flung it because I was too excited. Um, it comes with this extensive guide on how to uh, diamond paint. So in case you ever wanted like very thorough instructions, all of the kits do come with this inside of the box. Look how cute it is. I'm so excited to do this one. Okay, and for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go through all of the drills and take everything out, but you guys can obviously see what colors are gonna be featured on here. And it looks like the white is an AB. So all of the little white, like probably the whiskers maybe, are gonna be extra reflecty. And you have your same little kit in there. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get to the next one. We'll roll the instructions back up in here and then we'll get to the third kit. And then I wanna get to that huge box because I have a feeling it's gonna blow your guys' freaking minds along with mine. Alrighty, let's move on to this final package. I am so excited to see what this one is going to be. Okay, what do we think it's going to be? Ooh, I'm seeing fleurs. What is it? What is it? Ooh, oh, it's an advanced kit. Oh my God. She has a lot of faith in me. Oh man. Okay, so this is what this kit is. It's Magnolias on Blue 2 is what it's called and it's an advanced one. And as you guys can see, it wraps all the way around the box. That's what we're looking at. Um, this one is 44 by 44. <gasps> Wait a second. Is this a pillow? Hold on. The little, the little picture here looks like a pillow. What am I looking at here? It's a decorative pillow kit. Oh my Atlanta. Whoa, no sewing is required. That's what the diamond area is, but that's what the finish, whoa. Okay, so that's what I was looking at and freaking out. This is a pillow kit. If I flip the box over, that's where the drills go. 
I am so intrigued by this kit. Okay, let's crack this puppy open because I've got so many questions. Where did my scissors go? Whoa. Okay, so I thought that the really cool stuff was going to be in that big box that I have. Uh, because I kind of know what's coming in that kit and it's gonna blow your guys' freaking minds. I was not prepared to have my mind blown this early in the video. It's really a pillowcase. It's fabric. This is so cool. Look at this. Interesting. Okay, I had no clue what this was gonna feel like because it's already sewn. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So we have the instructions. We also have the, oh, look at that gold drill. That's exciting. So we have the drills. We have our kit in there. We have instructions, but look at this. Okay. It says at the bottom, detach protective film from seam edges before dotting. Whoa. Okay. So the back of it looks really nice too. So this has a zipper. And that's where you put like your pillow insert in there. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing that means you kind of have to go through and maybe like cut the edges with like a little exacto knife and pull this back because this is just like a plastic film and obviously it's stuck where the glue is. This is all poured glue. Uh, well, where the drills go at least. This is so, this is so cool. My mind, my mind is blown. This is so cool. And it looks like this one has 20 colors. It does have an inventory kit in with the drills. And again, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna take these out, but I see like a metallic gold drill. And I also see like an off-white AB color, which I'm assuming is all of the white ones that you see. And then it's likely the outlines are maybe gonna be the shiny gold color. Whoa, that, whoa, whoa. You just blew my mind, Diamond Dots, okay. I need to get to the big box to like officially blow your minds. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm ready for that one. Okay. I'm back in front of the camera. We're done with the weird angles. Hopefully, maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll do some overhead shots for stuff that's in this box, but I know that this box is quite full. So I just wanted to get to this to start showing you guys everything that is in it because it's probably gonna take me a long time to ramble about it. Who knows how long this video already is, but uh, those kits are freaking amazing. So let's just keep going, right? It's like Christmas. It's like January, but it's Christmas still. Okay, we've got, we've got the paper off. This is going to be the freestyle kit. And I am so excited to show you guys this because I think this might appeal to a lot of you guys who are interested in diamond painting, but you don't really know like what to do with it or where to start. You're more of like a crafty person. This, oh, this is gonna be so cool for you guys. Okay, this is sitting on top. This will give you an idea of like the direction I'm going. So this, oh, this is really cute. This is something you can do with diamond painting that isn't just a huge piece of artwork that you might wanna get framed and hang on your wall. This is a greeting card that comes with its own little pack of drills and you make, this little card. Look how cute that is. Hold on. So you get an envelope, you get the actual card. Hold on. Let me adjust everything so you guys can actually see what I'm showing you. This is a little Valentine's Day card. It says with love and it's just blank inside, but this front has the same plastic sheeting that our actual canvases have and you stick your little drills to it and it has little star ones in here. Oh my goodness, you get to actually put little stars on the hearts. So you're just filling in basically the heart balloons on this card and then you can send it to somebody. So this gives you like a very small little craft if you want something to like do with your hands for a very brief amount of time. This is the cutest little craft that just adds a little personal touch to like a Valentine's card. This is so cute, okay. So this stuff is specifically why I wanted to work with Diamond Dots because they have a lot of things that are not just your standard diamond paintings. They have a lot more crafty type stuff that I think is also more kid and beginner friendly because it's something easy, it's something quick that you can do in like one sitting without having to worry about like having to clean it up later on. Like you can complete the entire craft all at once and it's all self-contained. Look how cute that is, that's adorable. Okay, so we have that. And now we have freestyle. Okay, so let me take this box out of the box that was inside of a box inside of another box. We've got a lot of packaging. Okay, this, oh my goodness. Okay, I have taken the protective film off, so hopefully I won't be crickling in your guys' ears. So let's get into this. This is the cutest, oh, 
I might have to do overhead shots for this. Okay, so just kidding. We're back to this because wow, wow, wow. There's a lot in here. Let's start going through this. So the first thing I'm seeing is eight boats. Oh my goodness. So for all of you people who have many colors going at once, this, wow, you can have many colors going at once. As somebody who has pets, uh, it's terrifying to me to have these sitting out. A lot of people, when they're working on a really big project, they'll literally pour a different color in each tray and have like so many trays sitting out. So you could totally do this. I've also never seen blue boats. This is exciting. It's a brand new color for me. But uh, that's a lot of boats. Okay, we've got that. We have, let's see, we have, ooh, we have an Ergo Stylus. That's fun. So these are going to be single placers. We have two different types and it looks like they have little grippies on them. Ooh, it's like built-in grippies. It has little diamonds on the end. That's so cute. So these are nice. That's fun. I, for one, am kind of still fairly new to diamond painting. So I'm constantly on the search for like a, the perfect uh, diamond painting pen. I have two new options. And if I'm not mistaken, I have many, many more options now. I've got eight. The, these are a lot of single placer pens and it looks like they are open in the back. So if you have extra multi-placers, I have many from previous kits that I have, you can stick multi-placers in the end. But these are like the diamond dots, uh, just single, single use pens. Well, not single use, like single placer pens. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, let's see. We have four of the little dippy uh, wax kits. So this is what you stick in your pen to get the diamonds to stick. Okay. We have, oh, look at these. We have silver and gold uh, drills, like extra drills. Okay, this is what I was excited to work with Diamond Dots over because they're one of the few companies where you can go into stores and you can buy drills. Like you don't have to order them from some weird third party company on Etsy or anything. They sell their own line of drills. In case you guys are fairly new, drills are diamonds. That's the lingo. Now you're educated, okay. So we have fun metallic ones. These are amazing. Um, it looks like we have a neon pack. So this one, it looks like it comes with a neon, like orange, pink, yellow, and green. Is there one up on the top here? I think there is, it feels fairly solid. So I think there's going to be one up in the top here. Ooh, it's a white, hold on. Oh, contents, uh, neon green, neon yellow, pink, orange, <gasps> glow in the dark. Oh my God, I've done one kit with glow in the dark drills and it's the most exciting thing ever. So we have an entire thing of glow in the dark drills and I already have a project that I wanna save these for, just saying. So these are a whole bunch of canisters of extra drills. How many uh, does it come with? It's 12 grams or 0.42 ounces. And I know, I know there are people out there who have like converted to how many that is. I don't know, how many does that look like to you guys? Like 500? I don't know. I'm not good at estimating that yet. So we have a neon pack. We have, what is this one? This is the pastel pack. This one comes with baby pink, forget me not blue, purple ice, pale chartreuse green, and primrose yellow. Do you wanna look at these? I do. This is like Christmas morning to me, guys. This is so exciting. Oh my God, I feel like a real diamond painter. Okay, okay. Oh, these are so cute. Look at all of them. Those are adorable colors. Okay, roll them back in so we can keep this video rolling along. Okay, this next one looks like it's a whole bunch of AB drills, which is exciting. These are the AB sparkle packs. So this one includes white sparkle, Aegean blue, Aegean, Aegean blue, yellow sparkle, red sparkle, and bright green sparkle. Who wants to take a look, see? I do. Oh, don't cut yourself, Chelsea. Good Lord. Okay, scissor safety first. No stabby stabby. Okay. Ooh, these look nice. <gasps> look at all of the colors. Oh, there's an extra. I always run out of the white ABs. So these are the ones that have the iridescent coating that make them like extra blingy on your canvas. This is so fun. I also, these are my favorite little containers, little canisters. I love them. Okay, so we have that one. And then what is this one? It looks like it's just gonna be basic colors. This is the primary pack. So this has black, white, flag red, delphinium blue, and frog green. Do you guys like that I just tossed in that botanical term? Delphinium, I'm a fan of delphiniums. They're a flower and they are lovely. Okay, let's see. Who wants to look at these? 
and okay well the black is stuck we all know what black is uh so these are just basic standard colors oh i'm so excited to have these this is like invaluable stuff to have guys okay so this is like a sampler of packs that you can get now oh i like that they say it on the side that's nice okay awesome okay let's zoom you out a little bit because we're back to the main box let's see this what is this pc dots decorations what are these oh, they're little ornaments see this is another crafty thing that i knew i wanted to show to you guys this is another item similar to the greeting card that i opened earlier that is going to give you just kind of like a little quick craft to do that gives you like a tangible thing so all of these our little clear ornaments. Oh, that's so cute. So we have like the classic ball one. I dropped one. We have a Christmas tree shape. Can you guys even see this Christmas tree? We have a classic ball one. We have a little angel. I'm gonna turn that into baby Yoda for sure. We have one that's shaped, I don't know, like that. What shape is that? No clue. We have a star and we have a heart. And it comes with some ribbon. Like they have holes at the top, so it has ribbon to top them. And then it has Oh, I'm guessing these are kind of how you would go through. Oh, oh, this is what you use these kits for. Or you could use whatever you want. I guess you could technically decorate these in any way that you would actually want to, but this is pretty cute. It gives you kind of like a guideline for like letters. This shows you how to do different letters in a grid form. Oh, this is so cute. So this is something that you could do with all of these packs of extra drills. This is adorable. Okay. Now, back to this part of the kit. This, what is this? Oh my God, is this a light pad? <gasps> this is not a light pad. This is like an all-inclusive accessory kit. This is totally a light pad. So, oh, it's so little. Oh, this is adorable. There's a little cord in here. So in case you guys didn't know, light pads, this whole thing lights up, kind of like a light bright. Like there's a color thing I need, I would actually have to like plug it in to show you guys. But this is just kind of like a tracing light and you put it underneath of whatever painting you're working on and it shows through your canvas so that it makes all the symbols a lot easier to see in case you guys have not the best eyesight or if it makes your eyes really tired staring at little tiny details for so long, this really helps. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God. Thank you, Diamond Dots, for providing me with the cutest light pad I've ever seen. I have one that's like the size of an average piece of paper. This is so cute. And it says that it's dimmable and it's USB powered. Cute. Okay, let's stick that over there. And now this. This is where it's getting intense. Okay, so we have accessories in the front. We've got paint brushes. What is this? What is this? Are these slap bracelets? Oh my God, the 90s kid in me is gonna lose her mind if they don't, okay, they don't feel like slap bracelets. Okay, they're not slap bracelets, but they're still bracelets, I think. Friendship bracelets, oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, oh, look how cute this is. So you can just Velcro it together, but this whole thing has like the plastic coating and these are all little drills and you can make your own. I would have lost my mind over these as a kid. I was that kid who made endless friendship bracelets, like way more than I actually had friends to give them to. I just really, really liked doing like the little string crafts. This is the best thing. And I'm guessing this is gonna be a whole bunch of like suggestions of patterns. So this is another thing that you can use these drills for. <gasps> this is incredible. Okay, I'm cool, I'm chill, everything's fine. Okay, so anyway, I'm back. So we have paint brushes here and you might be wondering why? So I think this is because we have a whole bunch of these. So these are rolls, let's see, this one is Dots Grid Fabric. So this is basically going to allow you to make your own canvas. For all of you artsy fartsy people who are very like creative and art savvy and very good at like, you know, painting and drawing and sketching, this is going to allow you to essentially make your own diamond paintings by hand. So this one is a grid fabric. So it's just a big roll of essentially what these canvases are um, that's divided into grids and it has the adhesive already attached to it. So you just roll this out and start dot until your heart is content. Okay, that's amazing. Um, let's see, this one is dots sandwich adhesive. How does this one work? Okay, I have read things now. This is your adhesive. 
Okay, so basically, okay, so we have two rolls here of basic fabric. So this is just basic canvas material. This is what all of your diamond painting canvases are made out of with no adhesive. This is the adhesive and it gives you instructions on how to basically cut out whatever size you want of regular fabric. Then you put this on top of it. And then this is your transparent film that you peel back when you want to start dotting. So this is an entirely inclusive kit on how to use all of this stuff to make your own diamond painting. Am I talented enough to do this? We're gonna find out. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see, what is this? Printed reference card. Oh, this would probably have been helpful to see. If <gasps> no! Never, okay, sorry, was that loud? That was probably really loud. I thought this was gonna be a reference guide to like everything that was in this kit that would have given me like, you know, information to tell you guys. No, okay. So the one thing that I do know about Diamond Dots is they don't follow the DMC. And in case you guys are new, DMC is basically like the dye lot. It's the specific colors that a majority of diamond painting companies and all cross stitch companies follow for the drills and the threads. Like the flosses that you use for cross stitch is all kind of a universal thing. Diamond Dots has their own. And this is the reference guide. Also, their names are great because I just literally saw Pickle Green, <gasps> Leprechaun, Frog Green. This is, this is game changing. Oh man, and this is like an index. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's good to have. I will not lose that. But for everybody who might have wanted to get into diamond painting, but didn't really like any of the choices that you maybe were offered, like you haven't found like uh, art prints that you've liked yet, guess what? You can make your own with diamond dots. And I'm pretty sure you use this to um, spread adhesive. If you get like a pour on glue, you can use these to spread it. Oh my God, look at this kit. Holy guacamole. Thank you so much to diamond dots for uh, reaching out to me, sending this to me. Uh, I hope you guys found this somewhat helpful if you were looking for a new starting point. Hey, I'm gonna get in front of the camera again because I feel weird just talking offside. Hey, I'm back, it's me again. Uh, so, wowzers, that was a heck of a kit to unbox. This is just something that I wanted to bring to your guys' attention um, as far as a different type of way to diamond paint. This is way more crafty and less just stick and point type of stuff. This is like broadening the horizons of diamond painting and I am so beyond excited to uh, be working with Diamond Dots. I will leave their website linked down below if you guys would like to go peruse. But like I said, they also are sold in stores. So if you were looking for like a specific like Disney princess or like a Star Wars or a Harry Potter one, go to like Joann's or Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They sell them there and it's very exciting to like go into a store and purchase a diamond painting and actually walk out with it because diamond painting is while it's been around for a couple years it's not like a mainstream hobby and almost everything you have to get you order online so this is a way that you can literally just go into the store if you need to pick up like extra diamonds you can get them it's so cool okay i've been rambling a lot in this video i will leave as much information as i can in the description for you guys Thank you so much to Diamond Dots for sending this to me. And I am going to get diamond painting. I am so excited for the rest of my night now. Oh my goodness. I will see you guys in my next video.